Hey guys, Mike back with another video and today we're doing something uh, kind of going back to our roots on this one and uh, we're on to Toledo Bend today. We're going to run some trot lines for you guys who've been on the channel and have been following the channel for, I don't know, since day one. This is kind of where we started was with trot lining and bait fish traps and I've kind of branched off to kayak bass fishing but uh, we're back to trot lining today and so we're here on Toledo Bend. This is a place called Bill's Landing and I'll get some footage of it later for you guys to see um, but we're going to uh, Go bait up about six or seven lines this morning. Uh, we got a bunch of dead, you know, I guess sunfish, perch, and then uh, we're going to come back this evening and check them. We're going to bait them again and then check them again in the morning and uh, hopefully catch a ton of big fish. And uh, today we have the most well known trot liner in all of East Texas, the skinniest but biggest character, Craig Flowers, my stepdad. So, Craig, say hi to the camera. Hi. And tell him, uh, tell him the story that time you caught those big catfish behind the dam in Rayburn. Yeah, yeah, a uh, fish was actually in a car fish. down there and I dove down to get him and it took a while and I come back up and they asked me what was wrong. I said every time I'd try to spear him he'd roll the window up on me. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so that's what we're going to be dealing with today. We, we have no idea if we're going to catch fish or not but this place has a ton of big cats so I figure we'll do well and they got my little boy Wyatt with me. Tell them why. What are you excited about today? Fishing. And we're having a sleepover. We're having a sleepover. We're staying in the cabin and we're fishing. So should be a good trip. We're going to have some fun. And, uh, hey, you can't scream while we're doing this. Should be a good trip. We're going to have some fun. And then uh, let's get this going. So what we got here on these trot lines is a little bit different than a typical trot line where you would just string it up between two trees or two posts. Plus one. And so in this case, out here on the far end, right where my finger's at, we got about a 50, 60 pound weight, 40 to 60, I don't know, somewhere in that range. And then we have another one way over here. And then in between, you've got these floats, you know, every eight or I guess every 10 or 12 feet or so, these floats here there and there and there and there and there and so the way this thing is designed is you have two weights on the end obviously and then in the middle these floats pull that string or that bait up and the advantage of this is that the bait is going to be sitting above the thermocline a lot of times when you run trot lines especially in the summer you have basically the you know a tree a tree and then the weight or the line goes down to the bottom of the, the water and uh, if you don't check your lines regularly 
actually probably won't even catch you know as many fish that way just because they can't go below that deoxygenated level and so in this way this is a perfect way to run them during the summer just because it's you know the bait sitting up in the water column and the the disadvantage with this one though is that you definitely have to check your bait or check your uh trot lines early in the morning and, and you can't leave them baited very long because the fish will die as the water temperature gets hot but this is a great way to fish if you haven't tried it basically two weights on either end stretch the line as tight as you can and then every i'd say 10 15 feet float the line up and you want it to be about i don't know those those strings should be about from the main line to the to the float should be about four feet five feet below the surface somewhere in that range you can play around with it but if you hadn't tried this definitely give it a go This man, I have seen him single-handedly catch a paddlefish with his bare hands. I've seen this 85-pound man hold up a 150-pound catfish. <laughs> you just can't catfish better than this guy. It's not possible. He's known all the way from South Texas to Northern Canada as the Great White Hope. This man single-handedly ran a shrimp boat by himself without the motor <laughs> this man has caught redfish longer than a car 14 times in his life and his hobbies are watching wicked tuna and fixing trees and drinking dr pepper his greatest hunting accomplishments include shooting four boar hogs with one bullet and catching two parakeets in a dip net in his backyard. <laughs> this man caught three 10 pound bass with one minnow. Ain't that right? Yeah. This man has never let a catfish go in his life. <laughs> <laughs> That's the truth. <laughs> Perry, what's your favorite thing about running trot lines? The big pool. Huh? The big no pool. The big pool. Yeah. Why don't you bass fish? That's all you get when you catch good fish. So catfish. Do you, what do you, how are you going to call the... Do you, do you have your fish call with you? Yes. Hey. Did you know that, Craig? He can call the fish in for us. You want to try it? Yeah. Go ahead and call him in. <coughs> you just spit everywhere. I don't think that's calling in anything. We're fishing. And I will catch some fish. If I don't, give me all the comments on her bad fishing. You'll be on the what? Bad fishing. You'll be on the cover of bad fishing? Is that what you said? Bad. I, I'm, I'm not the very good fisherman. All right, folks, we got the uh, hard part done. Got the uh, lines baited. I think we only got about five lines baited because a couple of them were snagged and tore, and they had been cut, actually, from the last time we were here. So it is what it is, five lines. We should have a good time. But and uh, we're back here at the, at the camp, and what I want to do is spend a second and show you guys the luxurious camp we got going on here for the night very cool little place actually there's a lot we got a lot of little cabins and stuff that you can rent down here so let me flip the camera around here and let you guys check this out we'll show you what we got going on you know you're gonna lead the tour okay show them what we got That's the, um, bathroom. And we got a beautiful bathroom <laughs> It's our luxurious living room. The most important feature in this cabin is that for sure. Because uh, right now it's like 105 outside. And now, beautiful kitchen. Okay. We also have right here. Cool. And the air conditioner. Yeah. But we still have Okay. This is the our, our big screen. It's about a 72 inch. See. And then our bunk beds. Very cool. I want, I want this to leave on top. 
Yeah. You want to sleep on top? Mm-hmm. Anything will fall off the top. No. And then I got some storage over here. They actually built this cabin by hand. Um, there's some down here that they, I think, moved in. There's a couple of trailer houses that people can rent. But they built this one by hand. And uh, I remember when they were putting it up. So that's our accommodations for the night. We're going to stay here. Daddy, yeah, just a second, baby. We're going to stay here for a little while. Uh, get cleaned up, eat some sandwiches, then uh, head back out and check our lines here this afternoon. So we'll uh, stay tuned. On to that. I'll carry this one because we gotta tie it up. Go ahead, go around it. Let me get this tied on for Wyatt. Are you using a cork? Yeah. <laughs> That's not a trap, baby. That's a basket. Papa Craig thinks he's bass mat. Watch out, son. You almost got hooked in the head. Show him what all we caught so far, or what all Craig's caught. Don't dump it out. Pick it up and show him. All right. Look, at this good sunfish there, huh? Wyatt. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, you poured today, Craig. I caught him with him. Put him back in the water, bud. Son, every Dr. Pepper you've poured oh, today has been spit. Man, now I'm gonna have to quit fishing. Put your hand over him, like this, and then just grab him on the bottom like that, and put him in the basket. Okay. And grab him on the bottom. Just grab him hard. Now put it. Hold two hands. If he flops, he's gonna get get rid of him. Put him in the basket. Wyatt, you have to bend down to put him in the basket. Do you think he went in the basket? Huh? You let that fish go. That's his lucky day. Well, this is what happens if you try to go check your trot lines. Off. Looks like it's letting up here, hopefully. Back behind us still. There's a rainbow. Hey dad, look. So yeah, this is Bill's landing. This one gets to go landing. This boy has just been look. throwing rocks in the thunderstorm. <laughs> Right. Folks, we tried to go, uh, we tried to go get our lines, and as soon as we went out of the, the main lake, it was still really windy, we saw some lightning, so we just turned around and came back, plus we're running out of daylight, so do what we can, and there's some flamingos, pink flamingos, what happened? All right guys, so it's uh, early the next morning and uh, unfortunately we really didn't get to go out and uh, check those lines yesterday. We tried, uh, the weather was just really awful and it, it cleared up about eight. And so, you know, it gets dark here about 8.30. So we tried to run out there about eight o'clock and uh, the wind was just too much. And we started seeing lightning in the distance. So figured it was just time to come back. So came in, just ate some dinner, took a, you know, I, I guess went to sleep. And then now uh, we're gonna go out there and check these lines again this morning and hopefully have a bunch of fish. Um, my hopes are not up. Um, we had a, you know, all that rain come through and really ideally we wanted to bait the lines yesterday morning, then go back and check them in the evening and then uh, rebait them and then, you know, come back this morning and check them. But that didn't work. So we only got to bait them once and that bait's been on there, you know, since all afternoon, all day yesterday. So, um, you know, with the, with the lightning, not the lightning, the storms, uh, it can go both ways. You can either turn the fish off or turn the fish on. So uh, hopefully we caught a few fish and it's not a totally blown trip, but 
you know, it is what it is. It's fun being out here with my stepdad and my son. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Fish. Let's do this. Fish! Whoa! Got a giant catfish on and can't get a net. He ain't giant. He's a gigantic fish. Watch what? Right. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, crew. Till we get this fish in the boat. Get back on the other side. So that fish is a pretty good one, right? Pretty good one, yeah. Hold him up here. I had a 
bunch of fish. Why did it got off? What is that? Um. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Can you come over here for a few minutes? No, Bubba. That and the fish is not funny when he breathes. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video and uh, definitely didn't catch all the fish we wanted to catch. And I'll be honest, that's probably the, the slowest and the worst we've ever done out there. That place, Bill's Landing, is uh, our Toledo Bend, the northwest side, is usually pretty amazing. We always catch a lot of fish and a lot of big fish. Um, and so uh, maybe at the end of the video, I don't know, maybe I'll post a few pictures of some fish we've caught it, we've caught out there in the past. There are monsters out there. Uh, we just didn't get it into them today or yesterday at all. And I think the weather coming in, um, you know, just being nasty and all the storming, I think that threw it off. We weren't able to bait our lines again like we wanted to. And so it is what it is. We had a good time though, but I'm ref definitely ready to get home, get a shower and get cleaned up and, uh, and just call this one done. But anyway, Craig, you got anything to say to the world of YouTube? It's hot. It's hot. And the, the world's the world's skinniest cat fisherman let us down. I was expecting way better than that from him, but it is what it is. Wyatt, you got anything to say? Um, I had fun. You had fun? Mm -hmm. How many fish did you end up catching on rod and reel? Two. Two, okay. All right, if you guys like this kind of content, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, we do have a few things coming out that's a little bit different. I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the kayak and then I'm gonna do a uh, just kind of how to get started with kayak bass fishing, the online challenge stuff. So again, uh, that stuff's coming down the road. And if you'd like to see more trot lining videos, please let me know in the comment section below. I'd be glad to put some more of these together down the road. Um, you know, it is a little bit more of a hassle to have to come and do these, I'll be honest, but you know, it is fun. So we'll see how this goes. And uh, yeah, just let me know in the comments what you think and we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.